Welcome party people, this is James A. Hurst, screenwriter and story expert. And in this video, I'm gonna rank four of the most popular screenwriting software options. Final Draft, Fade In, Movie Magic Screenwriter, and Writer Duet to help you decide which is the best one for you. But before we get started, if you're looking to dial up your dialogue skills, you wanna grab my free PDF, Write Dialogue Like a Boss. So click the link below or go to jamesahurst.com backslash dialogue to grab your copy and start writing dialogue like a boss. Now listen, no program is gonna make writing easy. Screenwriting is difficult at the best of times, but choosing the right software for you can make the difference between a smooth writing process and this. The tortures of the death! Now let's get into the roundup. When you think of screenwriting programs, Final Draft is probably the name that first comes to mind. Final Draft has always been ahead of the other programs in terms of advanced features, and 13 is no exception, especially when it comes to story ideation. Now, Final Draft Scene Navigator has been around for a long time, and it's very similar to offerings from the other screenwriting software. But the Beatboard is a new ideation tool that allows writers to generate and develop ideas in a visual way, kind of like Miro. Now, I'll stick with Miro for now, but I think for many Final Draft users, the Beatboard is gonna make them really happy, if you accept the premise that writers can be happy. My leg hurts. I wonder if it's cancer. There's a bump, I'm starting to sweat, let's stop sweating. Another feature Final Draft users really enjoy is the speech to script tool, which lets you dictate your script. Now for me, I need to feel the keys beneath my fingers while I write. So dictation isn't something I'm ever gonna use, except for that time on May the 4th when I broke both my arms. Hey guys, don't I look great? Check out my costume. <laughs> If you're looking for online collaboration, Final Draft has got that covered. It's maybe not quite as seamless as the collaboration feature offered by Writer Duet, but it's gonna work well enough for most writers. Now, Final Draft's best-selling feature is actually not a feature, but it's caché as the industry standard. They've got endorsements from some of the most famous filmmakers in the world, and for some writers, that carries a lot of weight. But before you decide on Final Draft, there are two issues we really need to talk about. One is the price. Final Draft normally lists at $249, but at the time of recording, it's on sale at $159. But even at this reduced price, Final Draft is still an expensive option. But for me, the biggest issue is speed. I found recently that Final Draft 13 was so slow on my laptop, I just couldn't take it anymore, and I had to switch to another program that's compatible with Final Draft. And coincidentally, that software is next on the roundup. If collaboration is your main consideration, then Writer Duet might be the app pour vous. With Writer Duet, multiple writers can work on the same script at the same time and the changes update instantly. Another plus for some writers is that Writer Duet is cloud-based, which means it works within your browser just like any other tab. Writer Duet's browser-based system makes it incredibly flexible. All you need is an internet connection and you can hop on any device and start writing anywhere, whether you're at the cafe, airport lounge, or even the beach. But this flexibility comes with its own downside. If you're a member of the human race, you probably find the internet a bit of a distraction. So putting your screenwriting app into your browser makes it a lot easier to waste time looking at videos of red pandas. They're like living teddy bears. If you think having your screenwriting app baked into your internet browser will be a problem for your productivity, and it will, Writer Duet has a desktop version you can download and use offline. Let's talk about pricing. Writer Duet works on a monthly subscription model. The Plus plan gives you everything you need at $9.99 a month. And as much as I don't like monthly subscriptions, that's a price most writers can manage. But if I'm honest, and why start now? My fondness for Writer Duet is largely based on their free version. And yes, it has a free version. It works virtually the same as the paid with a few minor limitations. Some of the advanced features are grayed out, but none that most writers would use. On the free version, you do need to have an internet connection, but unless you're stranded on a desert island, that's not gonna be an issue for you. Now, one limitation to the free version you should know about is that it limits you to just three scripts, but I think three is pretty generous, and that's something that most aspiring writers can live with. So, there's a lot to love about Writer Duet, but is it the best screenwriting software? There's another software making a strong case to take the crown. Fade In has become the go-to option for writers put off by Final Draft's high price. 
Coming in at $79.95 with free updates for life, Fade In is a great value for screenwriters who don't want to have to upgrade their software every couple of years. What Fade In users most appreciate about the software is how writer-friendly it is. When you're writing in Fade In, you feel like this is a software designed for screenwriters by screenwriters. As for advanced features, Fade In isn't quite at final draft levels, but it does feature real-time collaboration, so if that's important to you, Fade In checks that box. Overall, Fade In offers a clean interface and a price you can't beat. But does it have enough to come out on top of our rankings? Before we crown the victor, we have one more option we have to look at, and it's a battle-tested veteran. Movie Magic Screenwriter has been a leading software option in the industry for years. It's known for its stability and its strong revision system, which makes it great for environments where scripts go through a lot of changes, like the TV world, where Movie Magic Screenwriter is still frequently used. But is it right for you? Well, if you're looking for an affordable screenwriting program with real-time collaboration, mobile support, and a sleek interface, Movie Magic Screenwriter ain't it. Movie Magic Screenwriter has no mobile support, no real-time collaboration, and frankly, there's something Windows 2000 about the whole thing. Now let's talk pricing. Movie Magic Screenwriter normally lists at $249, but at the time of recording, you can get it on sale at $169, which still makes it one of the more expensive options out there. If I sound like I'm down on the program, I'm really not. Most of the series I've written for have been on Movie Magic Screenwriter, so it's the software I've used the most and continue to use. In fact, I recently wrote an episode of the Wanana Earp Audible series with my wife, Shelley Scarrow. The episode is called Leaving on a Jet Plane, and it's a lot of fun, so check it out. Before we get into the rankings, I've got two honorable mentions I want to mention to you honorably. I've heard a lot about Caltex over the years, so I want to check it out. I recently demoed the free version, and I found things I liked and some I didn't. Like Red or Duet, Caltex is browser-based, so it has the same flexibility. But I found the counters at the bottom irrelevant. Word counts mean nothing to screenwriters, and I, and I don't like the software tracking my writing versus thinking time. The free version is highly limited, most of the features are grayed out, and worst of all, every footer is watermarked, which makes it unsuitable for submitting anywhere. The paid version makes all those problems go away, but you'll probably have to opt for the Writer Pro option at $24.99 a month, which is gonna quickly add up. Now, Trellby is an interesting alternative if you're looking for a fully featured free software. Trellby has been around for a long time and you can tell the interface is clunky and bare bones and hasn't been updated since forever. And then there's the name, Trellby. The developer named the software after the Trilby hat. They use a purple Trilby as their distinctive logo, so why not just call it Trilby? They changed the I to an E for no apparent reason, and this makes zero sense to me. I reached out to the software developer for comment, and he admitted that Trilby wasn't their first choice. They only arrived at Trilby after workshopping other names such as Stitson, Bolo Molo, and Sombrero Bidi 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 Bido. Anyway, enough of this foolishness. Let's get to the rankings. Coming in at number four is Movie Magic Screenwriter. Its lack of mobile support or collaboration tools puts it far behind the other software in terms of features. Yes, it's still commonly used in the industry, but unless you have to use it for a specific show, I think you can find better value in the other options. Coming in at number three is Writer Duet. The paid option starts at $10 a month, which is good value for writers who frequently collaborate online or who want to be able to write on the go. And for writers looking for a free option, you can't do any better than Writer Duet's free offering if you can live with a three script limit. Coming in at number two is Final Draft. A number of writers, including myself, have found version 13 to lag, which can make writing frustrating. Now your results may vary, so take that with a grain of salt. On the plus side, Final Draft is packed with advanced features and it comes with a certain cachet. But I think for most writers, the brand name isn't worth the premium price tag. Coming in at number one is Fade In. Final Draft has a slight edge on advanced features, but Fade In is constantly getting updated, so I wouldn't be surprised if they close the gap very soon. For one time price of $79.95, I don't think you can find a better value than Fade In. Now before anyone says I'm shilling for Fade In, have a look around. This video is not sponsored. No money has changed hands. There's no, there's no, uh, I didn't put the programs in the box down there. There's no affiliate discount. This is my honest, unbiased opinion based on my own usage of all four of these programs. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on writing, filmmaking, and the art of story. This is James A. Hurst for ScreenWrite. Happy writing.